When OnePlus released the 5T, one of the most coveted and new feature of that device was the face unlock feature that basically lets you unlock your device using your face. Sounds familiar, right? Since then, many of OnePlus 5 owners were waiting for this feature including me and finally it's here in the form of Open Beta 3 update. So in this video, I am going to show you how you can get this face unlock feature on your OnePlus 5 without losing your data and also how it's working. Excited? So let's get started. Now before getting into the installation process, let's first check out how it's working and how you can set it up. The setup procedure is actually quite simple. Once you have updated your device to the open beta version 3, go to the setting menu, then security. Here you will see an option called face unlock. Click on that and now you have to put your pin or pattern in order to access the feature. From here, click on add face data and scan your face by holding your phone about 10 to 20 cm in front of your face and wait for the blue progress bar to wrap around the circle. When the phone is lined up properly with your face, the entire process takes just a couple of seconds. If it's having a hard time finding your face, you will see a warning underneath the circle. Move the phone closer or further away until it begins scanning again. After the face unlock feature has learned your face, each time you wake the phone, it will try to scan your face and unlock the phone and it's impressively fast at doing so. As the setup process points out, face unlock isn't as secure as a pen or a fingerprint unlock. Apple's iPhone 10 True Depth camera uses nearly 30,000 reference points when trying to identify a face, while the OnePlus 5 or 5T uses 100 identifiers according to the company. To its credit, OnePlus also uses other software tricks to differentiate between a photo and a live person, but it's not perfect. In my testing, I really love the way it works. It's blazing fast just like the fingerprint scanner which unlocks in just 0.2 seconds. So all in all, I didn't encounter any issues while using the face unlock feature and it even unlocks my device while my glasses are on which is really nice. But yeah, it needs some improvements. In low light condition, it struggles in unlocking the device but I think this will be improved in future updates because recently OnePlus has improved the low light unlocking in OnePlus 5T. So we can also expect the same thing for our OnePlus 5 devices, right? Now let's quickly check out how you can install it on your OnePlus 5 without unlocking the bootloader and without any data loss. But do keep that in mind, this is an open beta ROM so you can expect some minor bugs. The prerequisites are, first, I will highly recommend you to take a backup of your device in case anything went wrong and if you are doing this for the first time. Second, make sure your battery should be at least 60% charged. The first thing that you have to do is to download the ROM zip file and put it in the internal memory of your device. I will leave the download link in the description down below. Once that is done, switch off your device. Now hold power button plus volume down for few seconds until you see this OnePlus logo. Now you have successfully booted into OnePlus recovery. From here select English as your primary language then select install from internal storage and select the ROM zip file that you downloaded and it will start updating your device. This will basically take up to 10 minutes so relax and do not remove the USB cable otherwise your device will get bricked. Now while the device is updating, let's answer some frequently asked questions. One of the most frequently asked question is, if I follow these steps, will my data get deleted or wiped? No, if you follow the steps correctly, then your data will remain intact. I'll be showing that my data is intact once my device get booted. Do I have to root my device? No, you don't need to root your device. However, your device bootloader should be logged. Will I get the future OTA updates? Yes, you will get the OTA update but only for open beta ROM. Can we use TWRP recovery to install this update? Yeah, if you have a pre-installed TWRP recovery then you can simply flash this ROM. Now once the installation is complete, click on reboot. Now the first boot will take more time than normal. After boot is finished, you have successfully updated your OnePlus 5 to the latest Android Oreo. Now if we go to the file manager, here you can see that all my files are intact which shows that you will not lose your data while updating your device. Now if you guys want to know what are the major changes and newly added features in this Android Oreo update, then I'll be making a video on that tomorrow. So if you are new to this channel, then do consider subscribing and also press the bell icon so that you never miss any future video from Extreme Droid. So this is Samir signing off and I'll see you guys in my next one.